Have you ever wondered how they do it? Behind every great piece of art is a story, a person with experience, skills, and prized creative secrets. We've convinced some of Malta's most prominent contemporary artists to give us an exclusive behind the scenes look at the making of their work and to open up their process as they bring new original art to life. The Open Art Studio series offers a rare glimpse into how art is made and is dedicated to art lovers, artists and aspiring artists alike. Natasha, thanks for joining us. You're Russian, but you've been living in Malta for 17 years now, and I know that you've painted the landscape and scenery many, many times. Tell us about your art. Uh, I'm mostly a landscape painter, but sometimes I paint other different subjects, and uh, uh, I'm focusing on the work from life, and I'm using different medium like acrylic, watercolor, oil, pastels, and gouache. And uh, I'm trying to finish my art in one session. So like we call it alla primo. So you paint on location? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, usually I paint from, uh, from life or I go and I paint from on location. And I'm trying to, ca to catch uh, the beauty of the scene, the light. And I love to paint beautiful Maltese landscapes. So tell us about your materials that you're using today. So for today's demonstration, I'm going to use uh, the gouache paint in tubes. And uh, I love gouache very much because of the different features, like it is very opaque and it's water-based. So actually, it is a bit like acrylic, but at the same time, you can use it uh, as, a, as a watercolor. So it's very easy in use. It doesn't make any smell. And it's uh, very convenient, especially for the beginners. It's a new trend. So people, they begin uh, to discover gouache. And some people who used to work in watercolor, they discover gouache and they begin to use the gouache a lot. It's more forgiving comparing to watercolor because watercolor, you can't really uh, fix your mistakes. But gouache, you can pay layers after layers. And it is perfect just uh, for sketching, for plein air painting. And it's, it's, it is very, very nice medium. Uh, if you are just a beginner. And tell us about these particular gouache paints. Today I'm going to use the uh, Art Creation brand. This brand is very nice because it has very fine pigment with very fine particles and uh, the colors are really bright. And this set is perfect because it has all the necessary variety of the colors, all the basic colors. They blend perfectly and it has decent uh, uh, flow. Also, if you use it just with the color, without, uh, with water, without uh, white paint, it's become very transparent, like real natural watercolor. And I really enjoy to use it. So what are you going to be demonstrating for us? So today I'm going to paint uh, the local landscape. Uh, using as a reference my plein air painting I did on location previously and I'm going to paint it in different layers building up uh, and show the tones and the values and the light on the different surfaces. Okay, we'll let you get started. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to place my colors on the palette and you can see how nice the pigment is. We will test now you can see how nice gradient it gives when we will add the white. This is the feature of gouache. It's become a pack. What I'm going to do, I already had some sketch done on the paper. So I'm going to put a transparent layer of yellow ochre just to create the warm on the paint layer. Now I need to dry it out. So now I'm going to use the mixture of my ultramarine with a bit of white and I'm going to paint the town on the background. I'll do the middle tone just to locate the general color of it without any details. And you don't have to worry because with gouache it's very easy. You can paint it over and fix any mistake you have. It's not like watercolor. It's very forgiving. So I just add 
a bit of red ochre into our ultramarine which makes it more neutral and more warm so I'm going to use today to build my painting on the relation between warm, warm and, and cool colors so now I'm trying to put just general details of the building just a suggestion I don't want it like to be photorealistic because my main, main target is to show the atmosphere and the light I'm trying to achieve now quite a neutral color so again I add red ochre into ultramarine and add plenty of white color I'm trying to add some suggestion of the clouds and the waves with reflection of the sunlight on, on the sea so now I'm trying to cover with the cool color the surface of the sea trying to block as much as possible with the free and bold brush strokes so I'm using the big brush and I will save the thinner and smaller brush for the later on the moment when I'm going to put my details you have to keep in mind that gouache when it's dry out it's become a bit lighter like half tone lighter than when it's wet so now I mixed yellow ochre with white and I'm going to apply semi-transparent layers over my underpaint for the clouds and add some semi-transparent brush strokes on the water so I will have here in general for gouache you can use squirrel brushes and synthetic brushes so I'm more or less done with the middle tones now I will add the jetty in the front I will have my focal point exactly in this area so I will have the maximum contrast between the tone of the jetty and the light coming from the sky so I'm mixing cobalt and yellow ochre you don't have to worry to do everything perfect from this first moment because you can easily fix in gouache whatever mistake you will do my students they love to paint gouache as well uh, as I said first of all it's very easy to use and you can fix all your mistakes easily besides it's very user-friendly how to say because it doesn't make any smell and you don't have to have really special equipment I think it's perfect for the beginners honestly back my school days in Russia we start in general we start not from watercolor we start our study with gouache for the same reason because watercolor is quite difficult technique but now gouache become more and more popular between fine artists okay so far I was building layer by layer using middle tones for my city on the background and then slowly I am adding the darks into the building and the lights and trying to focus on the light coming from the skies and how it works on the landscape on the distant buildings on the surface of the sea on waves keeping in mind where is my darkest darks they are the jetty and on the yacht with the sails and I'm going to add a bit more contrast to the front now I'm going to add more light in the central part of the painting as I said it would be our focal point and the zone of the maximum contrast for us maximum attention and it shows how the light works on the landscape what I like with gouache as I said so you can put the opaque brush stroke and very transparent and the most interesting what you can do while it's already dry you still can wash it out and soften the edges and I'm going just to add a bit more contrast in the area of our focal point over here so we will have the lightest light and I will add some darker brush strokes on the waves as you can see we can paint the light paint over the deck dark areas I'm working today just with limited colors and you can see how many different shades and tones I can get just from three colors because basically I'm using uh, the red ochre 
I'm using yellow ochre and cobalt blue mixed with, with white give us very very nice gradation of the tones and the colors now I am I'm applying cobalt blue with a lot of white now I'm going to add a bit more light brush strokes with light paint over the top just applying the transparent layer of blue cobalt with white now I'm going to add a bit bluish white on the sails now I'm just adding some really transparent layers of the light colors on the background city now we can add a bit of warmth around the skies if you apply too dark or too light paint you just can easily wash it even after your painting is dry I'm quite happy with the result it took me just one and a half hour or even less to finish my painting I think I'm pretty much finished with that The series is brought to you by Allura. Allura works with leading local artists to showcase outstanding art and to show you what goes into making it. For original paintings by some of Malta's most sought after artists, visit the Allura Art Collection at www.alluraart.com.